Hey everyone, today is day 16 of the Shofar Shogun Challenge. This is a smaller shofar today, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, today I'd like to speak about the shofar itself and what it may symbolize to different people. So traditionally we blow a ram's horn, and I learned this week that one of the reasons why we do this is to remind ourselves of the incident on our abayit, uh, of Abraham's attempted at binding of Isaac and how the ram is what called out and saved them from performing this sacrifice. Um, and uh, that by blowing the horn from the same animal, it's as if we're living the episode ourselves and confronting the same moral decision and the covenant that our ancestors did. Um, I've also heard that the sound of the shofar is no less than the voice of God and that its wail is designed to awaken the heart in the awe-inspiring way that God itself would do. And personally, um, it symbolizes a literal wake-up call that we need to hear when it's time to take count of the year that was. It's kind of an alarm clock that shakes us out of our deep slumber and calls us to action. So in a way, to me, it's kind of a collective voice of the Jewish people, as well as the individual voice of a person like you or me. And it's the deepest sound of the soul or of the animal kingdom, which is used to share a message and inspire the world around us to wake up, do something, connect with your values, connect with your history, and start the year anew. So with that, I'm gonna attempt to blow this smaller shofar, which is from an actual ram. I realize that the one that I usually use is a Yemenite shofar made from an antelope, so that's why it's much bigger. But this is actually a ram's horn. Wish me luck because I really am not good at this one. The hole, the hole is much smaller. Shalom.